Ah, there's the drop. Alright, so let's see if I can get the care package. Yes, I have it. Some guy is coming. Yes, we did it. Hello guys, my name is Prusilko. Welcome back to my channel. You asked for it, so you get it. We'll talk about the new parachuting mechanics today, which was introduced with the new patch. I'll talk about all the basics you need to know about the new system. Then I will move on to all the gliding ranges. And if you stay until the end of this video, I'll teach you what you saw in the intro, how to stay in the air until the first care package arrives so that you can glide there, grabbing the care package with all the level three gear and high-end weapons in it. So stay with me guys and by the end of this video you will know everything you need to regarding the new parachuting mechanics. So with that being said, let's get started. First, you have to know everything about the basics regarding the parachuting mechanics. Compared to the previous version, this one's really responsive and you can do almost everything what you want to do with it. Mid-air gliding changed a lot. Plus you'll be able to tailor fit your landing to your own gameplay style and make sure you're the first one landing at your location of choice. And with the new parachute model you're able to land on ledges and dive through holes on the roof for example. If you have a perfect landing you won't lose any time but if you're going in hard your character will roll a little bit which will take a couple of seconds before you can start to run. And from now on you can even cut your parachute cables so you can land faster, which will open up for a lot of technical opportunities to make sure you're the first one with weapon so that you can dominate the others. All right, so let's move on to the second part. In this section, I will talk about all the gliding ranges, which are right under the plane's path, mid ranges and even long ranges as well. So starting off with the gliding towards right under the plane's path, as soon as you jump from the plane, click the left stick so that your character will dive down, reaching the maximum vertical velocity, which will make your parachute open a little bit later than the others. And with the extra speed, you land on the ground much faster than the others, gaining yourself enough time to grab a weapon from the ground and kill all the others surrounding you. Alright, so moving on to mid-ranges. This is where it gets a little bit complicated, but don't worry, I will talk you through it so you know everything you have to about this. So first off, when you exit the plane, same like before, hit the left stick, but just until your vertical velocity is slightly faster than 200 km per hour, and then you gotta hit the L3 again, and you gotta hold your camera position like this. Now to be able to coordinate yourself, either open the map or use the free look feature to look around and try to position yourself in the perfect direction. You can use the free look feature by holding the R1 button. As soon as you're above your desired location, click L3 again to gain extra vertical velocity. As you can see on this image, I was able to beat all of my opponents who wanted to land on the same spot, so I was able to grab a gun before they did and use this for my advantage. Alright, so moving on to the long range jumps. With the previous parachuting mechanics, you could glide through 2 to 3 kilometers. If I remember correctly, the minimum vertical velocity was 16 kilometers per hour, but with the new system, it's reduced to 11 kilometers per hour. So with a slower speed, you can travel farther. In this scenario, I was traveling from the plane's path all the way to the Cosmodrome Center and since it was really far, no one else thought that they can actually go there so I had the whole area for me with all the fancy loot in it. Alright, so now that we talked about all the gliding ranges, I teach you how to do the trick what you saw in the intro. 
First off, you have to make sure that you leave the plane as close to the map center as possible. And even before exiting the plane, just pull the left stick back so that your vertical velocity will be the minimum possible when you leave the plane. And as soon as you're prompted, just push the circle to open your parachute. And if you don't touch anything, your vertical velocity will be 26. But if you push the left stick a little bit forward, it will decrease to 11 km per hour. Try to maintain that momentum until the first circle appears on the map. And as soon as it appears, just mark the middle of it and start to glide towards it. Now, as far as I know, the first care package is pretty much random, but you can expect it at the second part of the first phase. So try to glide towards the center of the circle and try to spot the first care package plane. And as soon as it drops its package, start to glide towards it. I won't say that it works in 100% of the cases, but I was able to grab the care package 80% of the times, so I could start off my round with level 3 gear and high end weapons, which as you can imagine made it really easy to work my way up to the final circle and even win it. <laughs> Just kidding, I couldn't beat the last guy, but that's life, right? You cannot always win. Anyway guys, this was all I wanted to say about the new parachuting mechanics. I hope you found this video useful. If you did so, please don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe for more PUBG content like this if you're new here. And i see you in the next one. Bye.